Hello everyone, Merry Christmas to you all. Um, today, just real quick, because I received two new books for Christmas. There they are, that purple one and green one there. I figured I would go ahead and make a video showing all of my Burmese resources. I also have other resources for there's Spanish, those two stacks there, and then I have like one Italian dictionary that I don't use, and then um, there's uh, my little Latin book, um, that yellow one right there. Ooh, yep, right there. So I'm going to start off just today doing my Burmese material. This, I'll just start off with this. I got this recently. This is just one article from the journal of the International Phonetic Association written by Dr. Justin Watkins of the School of Oriental and African Studies up in London. And this is just an article he wrote on the Burmese in comparison with the IPA, so about the Burmese phonetic sounds. And here he talks about tone, and he has a passage that he recorded and transcribed into IPA. So, you know, this is just an interesting piece of it. I got through my library's interlibrary loan program, so if you're at a university or if your public library has interlibrary loan, that it's always a good way to get language material. Another place where I think it's good to get language material is academia.edu, and that's where I got this. Zoulai Gelman. This is um, a Gelman means grammar. Zoulai is um, one way to call um, the language of the Zo people. And I don't speak Zo. Probably in the future I may learn it. But this whole grammar here, which is very rare to find, is written completely in Zo. So I can't really understand it because there are no English or Burmese parts for me to link the languages. But if I ever find a tutor who can help me in that regard, that would be great. This. I had a third book, by the way, but I have no, I have no idea where the binder went. It disappeared. But I got this, actually, from archive.org. And this book was written, actually, by a missionary. C. Bennett. And it starts off here with just some nouns. Nouns, nouns, nouns. Kind of like a dictionary, but rather more like a word list, like a Swadesh list or something. Nouns, verbs, adverbs, more adverbs. And then you get on to simple sentences. Is it so? It is so. Todo pietala, todo piapari, or todo todo pieti. So, this is a really um, archaic version of Burmese, kind of like from the 1800s, I believe. So, equated to um, today's English and King James English, maybe. It's understandable, but it's not... If you went on the street talking like this, they'd, they'd think you probably stepped into the TARDIS and came from another time realm. So... But it's still very interesting to have, especially if you like doing, you know, study of old language things, or if you were, say, reading literature. So that was from archive.org. You can always find old language materials there. This, I thought, was out of copyright, because, see, 1922, but uh, I couldn't find it anywhere online. But this was given to me by a man who, he is of the Mon race, which is another indigenous group. This is their signal, uh, symbol, the sheldrake, and they're also in Burma. This is a Mon English dictionary, so this is the um, same script as Burmese, but pronunciation is different. So for example, that is, um, uh, I think you'd pronounce it, Karain, 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 hmm. So yeah, it's always very interesting to learn these new pronunciations. Here is 
pretty much the same thing, except this is Mo Myama Abide. So Mon, Mon, Myama, Burmese, Abide, Dictionary. Ne, the Da Nai, the Da Nai Yongje. So this, the Da Grammar, Nai, um, Yongje, Yongje. I actually do not know what that means. If somebody can tell me what that means, I'd be very grateful. But here you have, so this is just from Mon into Burmese. So um, this would be so ngape ngape. Oh, but yes, this was also gifted to me by the same person who gifted me that. And actually, it wasn't gifted. I borrowed his original and I photocopied it. Oh. So here, speaking of dictionaries, I got all my dictionaries together here. This was brought back to me from Burma by the wife of a friend of mine who went back to see family. Um, Myama Abide, and this is written by the Myama Sapwe, or the Myama Sapwe Uzi Dana, which is the, um, Myama Sapwe is the, the group, the Myama literature group, or here it's like, um, Myama, oh, I'm not getting this into focus, Myama Sapwe uh, Uzi Dana. So that's um Yamasa Pui Uzi Dana the the ministry um Uzi Dana uh Uzi Dana See there are limits to where I can translate. I speak quite a bit nowadays than I did in the past, but there are certain technicality technical words that I don't know. So this dictionary actually came um, I believe after this English one came out. This is a this here is a newer edition of the Burmese one. This is an older edition. You can also tell by the yellowing of the pages that it's a little bit older. But this one actually has more words in it. But it's only Myanmar to English. There is no English to Myanmar in there. Some of these are not actually mine. This is um, a kaithi and uh, they have like a Weird romanization, kit fit, but it's kit fit. This is kit fit Myanmar, and this is only English to Myanmar. So I use it in conjunction with that one when I have big words. This one is like the same thing, except a different country company, and this is for Moses McCormack. I accidentally got this from friend of mine that was meant for Moses. This, I'm borrowing this, this is a, it says Dictionary of Economics, but that's not what CYE means. CYE means business. So, CYE, yeah. Um, just um, the academic of business, I guess. Um, I'd be damn. Uh, dictionary of Law. This is a very old English to Korean dictionary. And this is the first Burmese English English Burmese dictionary I ever got from Bai Boon, translated by, um, oh, what is her name? Anne Cunningham? I believe so. Anne Cunningham and also me. And this one isn't bad, there are some errors in it. But it's good for a beginning dictionary. Here. This. Another binded thing. This I got from the Hathi Trust website. And if you are one of part of one of the organizations, like for me, I was able to get it through. Um, not through my account, but because my university is administered by Purdue, I was able to have one of our staff members download this for me and basically this is just a collection of different 
authors and their works to show different types of writing styles in Burmese. So just looking at the front here, this was compiled by Cornyn. And Cornyn had um, probably the standard um, Burmese um, textbook that was being used before O'Kell's textbooks came out, and we'll get to those in a minute. I got, you can order these online as PDF. You can order print form too, but it's cheaper with the PDF. This was the School of Pacific and Asian Studies from Australian National University, compiled by David Bradley. And these are just different academic papers, articles on Burmese. John O'Kell, just about three different Burmese dialects. There's another big collection that I've gotten through interlibrary loan from, from this group. It's very expensive. This, however, this is my pride and joy. Price tag is still on there. Not ashamed of it. I got this. I think I got this new from Amazon. This is a grammatical dictionary. Talks mostly about particles. And then it gives wonderful examples. Sometimes I even learn new vocabulary from reading the examples and then the English equivalent. But it's very helpful when reading literature and even when spoken. And this was actually based off of these next two books here. I'm not going to dig those two books out um, because they are rare. Um, that's a reference grammar of colloquial Burmese. Probably, in my opinion, one of the greatest grammars written in the 20th century of Burmese. And it was written by John O'Kell himself. Actually, a lot inside of here came from these. This is only of colloquial Burmese, where this includes literature, Burmese, literary Burmese as well. But John O'Kell focused a lot on the spoken, and then Anna Alt focused on the literary. But here, these are the new editions of his textbook, which are now the standard textbooks for teaching Burmese. So this is what you would use in college to learn Burmese. And mostly this one, just conversational. You talk about um, writing, you know, Dabadule. Who is that? Dabadule you know, gives easy to read romanization. That's just the second part of the spoken literary style. This one I really like, literary style, because it takes the Burmese. Um, the late the the children readers that they use in elementary school in Burma, and it analyzes them. So, So the name of the cat is Shui Wat, which literally means golden yellow. Gale, little, so little. Um, Shui Wat, the golden. Uh, the little kitty, something like that. Introduction to the script, that's just how to learn the script. And then, this was the first Burmese textbook I ever got. You can get this online from Amazon or from Pai Boon. Pai Boon only sells it for uh, $18. You might get it cheaper on Amazon. But, you know, I say support the publisher directly when you can. Not a bad book. Um, not necessarily a good one. Jean Mesher is um, by no means an expert in Burmese, but um, he does a pretty good job. I think he steals a lot from O'Kell, but I mean, you know, you have to steal some stuff from somewhere, right? Um, but it's a nice cheap alternative to these. These books are pretty expensive, um, and it does get you started. They come with CDs that you can listen to, and there's conversations, there's some spelling errors in the book, but I don't really have too much time to tear this book apart. This book was given to me by my pastor, 
this he had more this is geography he said people stole his other books um, I haven't gotten around to reading this this is um, I guess it's from a contemporary Burmese writer who um, my teacher who looked at this said um, he writes in a very easy contemporary style that would help me to read This is another book that was loaned to me. I'm not really sure what it is. It has to do with with law, I believe. Lotama Obere O. Okay. So it's uh, it's about the law of workers. Worker law. This is a little pulp fiction book, but it comes in parts. And I only have this part, so it's really incomplete. This is a little phrase book in German that I got, just because I thought it was neat. But it's only, you know, phrases, doesn't even... The most writing it has is there's this little sheet on the back here. Um, I've never even heard... I've heard, but not... Where's the doctor? Wo gibt's es einen Arzt? So, let's look about the author here. Pom Mao. Geboren 1958 in Tatun, Myanmar. So, born in um, 1958 in Tatun, Myanmar. He studied law and uh, German studies in Rangoon and um, the study of politics in Minchin. Uh, he worked in, the, in many different, um, in, in many different, uh, what do you call them, I guess jobs. He worked in different jobs, um, and some of them uh, was a truck driver, a taxi driver, a cook, no, no, waiter, waiter, and an actor. Hmm. And since the 1980s, uh, as to me, as Heiselaita, so... Since the 1980s, he is in Myanmar as a um, tour guide. Tätig. Um, tätig. Um, tätig etwas auch in deutschen Reisegruppe. So mostly and often with German um, tour groups in the um, Myanmarischen Duschungel unterwegs. Um, Duschungel. I think that's a typo, so I have no idea what that means. Er lebt abwechselnd in München und Myanmar. So he lives off and on between München and Myanmar. Um, this is a... Actually, this was my first dictionary. It's English, Burmese, and Korean. What I like about this is it, once again, has example sentences, but it's meant for children. In the back, though, you have a nice section... That tells you, there are the days of the week, months of the year, days of the week again, both in English and Korean and Burmese, um, times of day, how to tell the time on that type of clock, um, map, names of continents. So this is actually a pretty, you know, it's not the best, but it's well put together. From Burma, and I think it's printed in Thailand. Because printing in Thailand is pretty cheap. These here are just various news articles I've collected. And this here is part of a survey done by a university around here. These books, though, are my pride and joy. This is um, also written by the same group that published this, and this is actually for Burmese people to clear up discrepancies, kind of like. Um, teaching English speakers the difference between two, two, and two. This talks about um, errors with matter of accent. Um, for example, um, here you do not pronounce this word as gandata, but you pronounce it as gantata, gantata, gantata. But 
but then it also has a little bit of grammar here. What you should omit, what is not needed, what is needed, what is missing. So, that's a very good book brought to me by a friend of mine. This is a little novel again, has to do with a monk. And here it just talks about the monk, and it's neat to see, you know, Burmese written conversation inside this liter literary form. But I get very bored with literature easily. These are more books given to me by monks. Can't say I've read it. I'm not Buddhist. Another book given to me by a monk. Um, I met the author of this one. And uh, so I might read a little bit of it soon. No, oh, it's even autographed. Daga Weihain. Daga is like a. Um, it's what you call. It's what a Buddhist monk calls their disciple. Um, their people that they're teaching. This one is also a nice book for Buddhist vocabulary, written by a monk that I personally know. And um, in the front, it uh, gives instructions on how to properly bow to a monk, and then certain prayers, and then the meanings of each prayer in Burmese, because a lot of prayers are done in Pali, which is a language similar to Sanskrit. And then tells the meaning of um, the opening prayer, which is very common. Let's see if I can find it. Namo dasa bhagavato arahato samma sabutasa. But the way that the Burmans pronounce it is more like Namo dasa bhagavato arahato samma they pronounce it with a Burmanized accent rather than Pali. This is a book called Our Religion. Thathana is um, a word I interpret it as religion, like specific religion, rather than just... If you say Baba Yi, that like talks about religion as a subject. This refers to a religion. Our religion. Which, of course... Is Buddhism. I haven't read that book either. This I got as a gift. Um, this is a book for tour guides. And it has English and Burmese. And uh, there's quite a lot of propaganda in here. I can make a whole video just about this book alone. This was also a gift. Man came back from Burma and gave this to me. Just me and my phrase book, not bad. This is a book for learning English. It's written by this by a very well known author, Sia Lathame. But his English is sometimes not correct, but it's still nice to look. This how to increase your word power in Myanmar. Just writing style, how to write better. Applied English Speaking, Translation, and this is a dictionary of slang words in Burmese. This is one book I forgot to show you because it was over here. This is a book written entirely in Thai. It, my first found out about it from a video by Stuart J. Raj on YouTube. When I saw it I thought it was the coolest thing ever and through the help of one of my friends in Thailand I got my hands on it. it. Cost me about thirty bucks, but um, it talks a lot about writing and about. Um, I can tell also about grammar, um, even though I can't read Thai. Hopefully, in the future, I will, because I'd like to study in in Thailand. But you can see from the back page here, these sources when I can read it in Burmese are mainly from the Burmese readers, which I'm going to show you all, and then from the John O'Kell book, which is over there, the most fat one there with the use sticker on it, Introduction to the Script. All right, this was, this is a photocopy of a book that belonged to a monk. The examples in here are quite funny. Um, it's all British English. Debo, the last king of Myanmar, learnt English from Dr. Mark. 
ยิมาพี่น้องซ่องเบียนพี่ต่อตีบอมเมวอังกฤษอ่ะเต็มเบเคเดเคดีคีบเซนเดนิฟดีดิสอิสมอนดิสอิสอ่าน็อตเบอร
the wife of a friend of mine brought back, along with that one dictionary I showed you up there. And I'm very grateful for it. But instead of one big grammar book, you have these, which are a series. It is, is a series, I mean. Going up each level. And I have some, actually, repeat books. As you'll see here, I have a couple grade 10s. Is this also grade 10? Yep, so this is a very brand new, brand spanking new, never really touched before. Grade 10 with new clear type. And here's a used older printing of grade 10. It's a very used with notes in it and everything. Maybe some love letters. Grade 11. This is a great picture. Talks about the evolution of the Myanmar writing. No, same book. Newer printing. With even more graphics. I think these graphics are just cool. So these here are just kind of random pieces of paper. This um, folder here I named Myanmar uh, Sekumya papers of uh, Burmese vocabulary and grammar. This is actually Mon, once again. This is from a long, long time ago when I would go to the Mon temple on free time on weekends and study a little bit under the monk and they insisted on reteaching me this alphabet even though I knew the Burmese one because to them one, two, three characters made a big difference. This is a poem. This is from probably my first lesson with my Burmese teacher. As you can see, we analyzed the heck out of this. So, yeah, good times. This is from another old book. I got this because of this syntax section here. As you can see, after almost every little particle there, there are little notes. And then talks about different stories. This one is, I'll give my own translation. So, okay. The the account of the dog and the female dog, um, the fightings, the quarreling of them, and the separating of the three um, their three offspring. That's what I would translate it as. Then this is. Uh, Parts of the Sudama Karvi. Another thing from the Mon Temple I had. Um, wa Jeka. Wa I'm, I'm going to eat fish, I guess. Abao Wa. My father is my brother. Uh, I don't get what they were trying to say. This monk here was teaching me at that time. He didn't know too much English. And for because of national pride, I guess he didn't want to teach me with Burmese. This is a song that I analyzed. I tried translating it line by line, then my teacher gave me corrections. And these, I would write these on scrap sheets of paper. The children readers. This here is an introduction of a 
dissertation written by Paulette Hoppel about Burmese syntax, especially the use of the last particle there, what it means. It's about Lisu. I knew a girl who was from the Lisu tribe. And that talked about the development of its orthography, development of the orthography of Bay Ali. This is the Fraser alphabet from Omniglot.com. Omniglot's a good place to go if you want to learn how to read scripts. Fraser alphabet is what they used to write Lisu. So there's that folder. Alright, this one is probably one of my favorites. This is a folder labeled by me as Burmese reading material. I'm not even going to show you everything from there because it's going to be a very hard to put everything back in. These are mostly right things here gathered by my church. So that's like super literary style for me. But that's one of the pamphlets my church had, so I took it. Tamakate Masache. So, tama. So, kete is from the verb kete and vi, which is to save, as in salvation save. Masa is an old Burmese verb that means help. So, kete masa che is like um, like guiding salvation. So, guiding salvation from above. What this is. This is a collection of Christmas carols. And uh, a mixture of English and Burmese Christmas carols. I don't remember the tunes to any of them. Well, the English ones, of course, but. This was from years ago. I'm like going back down memory lane. Mitazui pia shiko sutanza. So, a book of my pastor, he would make these and he would have them translated by either the elders of the church. My pastor is American, he's not the me. And so he always has these translated by natives. He gives them out. These are Bible studies that are meant to be read. As a family, um, this is part of the Lutheran Catechism, which I have the full book now. This is so uh, one on baptism. I'm actually going to save that for later. Um, another prayer book for families. This is about um, a missionary family um, supported by our church. This is from a joint worship service, so it has both. English and Burmese on the inside. And sometimes, oh, uh, there you go. This is when I was still in my analyzing stage. My Lord, my Lord, why? Yeah, why have you forsaken me? This is a book of prayer. In English, a comic book about Moses, um, a comic book about the life of Jesus. Then this is um, the third part. This is the first part. I don't have the second part. Oh no! This is from a different church that I visited a few times. Just their bulletin, not too much. This is a translated um, track about Jehovah's Witnesses because we had a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses going around, so it just tells about Jehovah's Witnesses and their belief. That's what the logo of my church. And church written, church information written in Burmese. So, yeah. So, these are the last four little tidbits of Burmese material that I'm going to show you. This is my first Burmese Bible, and it's actually not the whole Bible, it's only the New Testament and the Psalms and Proverbs. 
but it's a very modern Burmese translation. And it was a gift from my pastor to me. The first time that I stepped foot in his church before I even thought about attending there regularly. This is one that was not a gift. I had to buy it. It wasn't expensive. Uh, Ten bucks, I think. This is the original Burmese Bible translation translated by Adoniram Judson. And you can see the original tongues and in a biography I read about him. It does attest that he translated from Greek and Hebrew rather than from English or something like that. This is a very recent gift to me. And uh, you can see there's a Catholic bishop that's Bishop Darcy of uh, my area's uh, parish, I suppose. But he uh, died soon, not too long ago, I guess. But this is the Catholic Mass and Catholic Psalms and Catholic hymns. So I wanted this because I wanted to see how the Mass was conducted in Burmese. And I was not disappointed. It's very interesting. And I'm very thankful to the person who gave it to me. This is quite cool. This is a Burmese translation of the Lutheran Catechism based off of the Concordia Publishing House English version, not based off of the original German. But this is like the second or third revision of it. So it must be all right. So keep in mind, although this is all I'm going to show you guys, I have a lot more Burmese things on my computer. And you can always contact me if you want to know how to get a hold of certain resources. This is just a collection I've built up of four years of literally scrounging around like a pack rat, like a hoarder, that I kind of am, if you've ever seen my room. But thank you all, and uh, good luck with your language study.